I'm so pleased that Protein Industries Canada is uh, honoring John Nubley today as a, with a lifetime membership in Protein Industries Canada. Many of you will know that John is a driving force behind the creation of what was then called the Innovation Supercluster Initiative in his role as the Deputy Minister of ISED. And even in retirement, after stepping away from that role, he continued to be a tireless supporter of the program, uh, supporting us with the development of op-eds and continuing to participate in strategic planning sessions with Protein Industries Canada and, and other clusters as well. Uh, John, I want to thank you for your vision, for your tenacity, and uh, for your candid comments over the years about what we're doing here at Protein Industries Canada. Welcome to our honour roll. Thanks. John, congratulations on being recognized for your leadership and vision by PIC. You played an instrumental role in developing Canada's innovation framework and was the chief architect for a new to Canada model called the Super Clusters. The recognition by PIC is also notable given your long-standing interest and contribution to Canada's agriculture sector, most notably as the Deputy Minister of Agriculture and the Deputy Minister of Industry, Science and Economic Development. Thanks to your vision, the global innovation clusters are delivering results for Canada and are seen globally as a model to emulate. Congratulations, John. Congratulations, John, on your Lifetime Membership Award in Protein Industries Canada. Over the past several decades, you've contributed your heart, your guts and your brain to Canada's innovation and economic policy like no other person in the country and we've all benefited from it. From what you've done over the years, culminating in your drive and approval and support for the cluster program, you've made us a better country, you've made us better businesses, and you've built a better future for us and all of our children. Thank you to you, and thank you Protein Industries Canada for recognizing John.